Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is video True Dad, and welcome back to Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion, where, as it ever was, things are going well in some places, not so well in others. Over here on the Eastern Front, Emperor Caius the Horde Slayer is living up to the name that I just invented for him. He has managed to scatter the Goths, but they might well be gunning for him next. There is still one very large army right there. Is that actually the... No, that is actually the heir of the Goths, not their faction leader. But it's probably the strongest army they've got left, and it's probably coming straight for the Emperor. Down south, the Berbers are on their last legs, and if I can finish them off, that frees up this army of Appius the Honest to go and do some more interesting things. We'll discuss that further once the Berbers have been dealt with. And up north, meanwhile, things are not going so well for the Second Crusade of Spurius Flavius, the most Christian man who ever Christianed. But not because he's actually having trouble, more because he's got too many things to do at once. The Saxons need to be killed. But, if we just actually look over to the east for a moment, the Burgundian capital is vulnerable. I could actually knock out the tech infrastructure of the Burgundy and the Lombardy in one swift blow. But I can't do that because the Counts are invading Britain, so he's kind of needed over there to make sure we don't lose London, which is just too valuable to lose to the Celts. Oh, and just to make this part of the world even more fun, the Franks have woken up. They actually seem to be active for the first time in decades. And we're still at war with them. We were never actually able to make peace, so that's good. They've just reached the edge of the Roman highway, so now they can start moving a whole lot faster in our direction. So just in case that's exactly what they're planning to do, and yeah, they can really start making some fast progress because of the roads I flipping built. Let's just, yeah, get some more archers down over here at Vicus Franchi as soon as flipping possible. And some more troops at Vicus Alemanni as well. Yeah, we just need some extra manpower just in case they're thinking of doing something stupid. Oh, and don't forget the Huns, of course. They're not actually dead. They're just temporarily distracted by the Eastern Empire, which works for me. Carry on, lads. Still, that's pretty much all we can do this turn. Time to see if the Goths are planning to take me on directly. And the answer is, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was the Sarmatians. The flipping Sarmatians are on the move. Uh-oh. Right, well, that's... That's a problem I wasn't expecting. Good, add a new problem to the bottom of the problems list. Oh, no, there's no room on the list. It's already full. Meanwhile, we may as well fight this one manually. At the bare minimum, I might be able to use the peeler of the Limitane to do a little bit of damage to some units. Oh, yeah, this is gonna go great, isn't it? Spot on. And it's such a lovely Roman town too. Yeah, fun thing about this place, it's actually very, very weird indeed, which is, you may be thinking, hang on, if it's got a Roman-style governor's villa, then it shouldn't be this style of barbarian town, it should be a Roman town. Indeed it should be, but this city's never actually grown from how it was at the beginning of the game, so as a result of that, it's a bit of a special one, where yeah, it's got a Roman government building, but the actual layout is still barbarian, which is a little bit of a shame, actually, because yeah, the tighter streets of the Roman settlement would have worked in my favour as a defender. So they've got themselves four rams coming up here. What's pushing them? Druids, heavy infantry, anything I actually would like to be able to kill. There's, yeah, just a handful of, ooh, the hounds of Kulan, yeah. Guys with big old beating sticks. Don't want to mess with them, but if I could get the peeler on them, that wouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Oh, they've actually managed to lose one of the rams right there. Barbarian peasants are going to make it to the gate, that's fine. And yeah, this is why you want to fight this manually. Auto resolve, they would have just won with minimal casualties. But in a real battle, yeah, the AI, if it loses one of the rams, will just stand in range of the towers forever. They'll take a few knocks at least. Here we go. This is going to be the most damage we can do. We're just going to get the peeler from these guys onto these guys, pin them in place, hit them in the rear with the other peeler, charge them. That's the best we flipping got, all right? So you guys, it's time for... You were just tossing your peeler at the wrong targets, weren't you? Yes, yes you were. Well done. Well done in general. Right, these guys are coming in right now. So now you guys hit these guys and prepare for a good peeler shot against... Please actually shoot these guys. Please. Come on. Let's, let's do this. Where are you planning to toss the peeler? Okay, vaguely. I feel like you've got better targets right here. But anytime you're ready. Okay, that's not too bad. That's a fair bit of damage right there. Just keep tossing the... No, they immediately broke. Limetane. Can't really trust them to do much, to be honest. Right, job done. You know what? We got 96 kills. I'll flip it, take it. 
And yes, indeed, the Huns have decided to siege down Salona. We'll be interested to see if the Eastern Empire bothers to respond to that or not. And as for the actual Goths, they actually have failed to reform. Good. That means uh, Caius the Horde Slayer can start picking off these guys up here. This actually works pretty well for me. Oh, and we've got a flood in northern Italy just outside Rome, which is so severe it has also managed to successfully flood the sea. Oh, but good news here, the next generation have started to come through. So, we've got ourselves Quintus Flavius in the pink, Christian, not much yet, but screw it, sure, you can manage the capital on your first day as a 16-year-old kid, why not? So, a Burricum has fallen, and they are not immediately moving out, but this place is small, they won't be able to retrain any damage I've just done to them, so... At the bare minimum, we have softened them up just a tiny bit. Meanwhile, the Franks have failed to move. They're staying inside their own territory for now. Okay, though, that army is maybe not as bad as I thought. Yeah, it's very heavy on peasants and spearmen. Gotcha. On the other hand, three generals. Don't forget what happened with the Saxons. Do not underestimate that. And yeah, arguably the biggest shift here, the Sarmatians are on the move. Meaning it's possible they're about to just go and take the old Gothic capital over in Dacia. So yeah, these guys have recovered from the repeated attacks from the Huns and have now started sending their troops out to capture more territory. Now we are neutral with them right now, we did form a peace, but I'm a little bit worried because they're running out of space to expand into, because they've been out expanded in the north by the flipping Lombardy. Okay, the big one though. Northern Europe, we've got Oppius Flavius and his delivery service just outside Campus Frisi. We may as well see what's inside. Because of course we can attack anytime we want because I actually brought the ballista with me. So inside this settlement we've got ourselves, ah here we go. So they're actually very dependent on their berserkers. But I've got plenty of range which works really nicely against berserkers. Other than that they're dependent on cavalry and I've brought plenty of really good spearmen. Yeah I think we can just walk in and have this. Alright first things first, bring down the gate. With the ballistas, absolutely lovely. These are actually mercenary ballistas, in fact. So you guys load it up, and let's actually start firing on the gate. Oh, spot on. Love that arrow cam. And straight away, the gate just goes down. We have got so much ammo left as well. So, you know what? You just start shooting at whatever you feel like, you stupid bastards. Yeah, there we go. Just start firing on them. In fact, they're actually coming out to me. Okay, one of the units of Berserkers is actually stepping outside of the city. And they're being flipping shot to ribbons. I love it. Well done, archers. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to mess with these archers. All right, they've got upgraded weapons and level 3 experience. Screw you. Right, bring up the archers. Uh, let's just start getting some fire on these lads. Because, yeah, they don't seem to have much in the way of range. This is lovely. Oh, here we go. My favourite thing in the world. Once you've got the artillery, start using it to pick off the heavy cavalry and... Oh, nice hit there. Well done. One hit, one kill. They're not walking that one off. And in comes the next. And another one bites the dust. Right, time to just push in, see if we can bait them forward a bit. Bring up the comment 10 says as well. Archers are ready to do whatever they need to do. Oh yeah, Auxilia Palatina versus flipping peasants. I think they can handle that one. Oh, they sending in light cavalry to try and defend against my spearmen. My elite spearmen. Oh, oh dear. No, 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 no. Lads, I think you've made a catastrophically bad error there. I think we're just going to chew through them like butter. Now just time to flank these lads, because yeah, they're sending... Ooh, they're sending some berserkers at us, actually. Uh, you guys, uh, get in there. I don't want too much damage being taken, but yeah, the actual barbarians are taking the brunt of it right now. Get in over here, and into the side, please. Oh, the berserkers are... Yeah, that's what berserkers do, by the way. They chew you up, so that is... That's not good, actually. Um... I might even want to pull back at this point. Yeah, guys, pull back, pull back, pull back. That's that's not good at all. Berserkers on the rampage don't want to be taking them on, actually. Oh, they've all routed. Boo, that's, that's not good at all. That's fine. We can still win. That's okay, but that's why you don't underestimate Berserkers. 
Alright, my Comet 10 says are actually heading in right now, and though they are being sent flying, they are doing a decent job, alright? They are managing to kill these guys slowly, but bloody hell, look at those Romans fly. Right, deploy the cav. I want these guys dead, please, as soon as possible. They have done a ridiculous amount of damage, yeah. Berserkers may be torn apart by archers, but if they can actually go into their heroic bloodlust, they are mighty indeed. Okay, this is good news. The other Berserkers are now coming in. Do not engage. Back off. Do not let them go into the frenzy. Just bring them into range of the archers and let the archers do the work, alright? Here we go. Archers are going to start opening up on the actual Berserkers. And they can't go Berserk if they've got no one to go Berserk against. That's more like it. And now as they desperately try to get on top of Light Cavalry, which they will never do, they're actually starting to fall apart. They're just being shot in the back. Love it. Now, the slight issue we've got here is we're desperately low on actual infantry, which is not good news. And our archers are running low on ammunition as well. Right, this could be uh, a little bit on the tricky side, actually, because we've barely touched their flipping warlord yet. Also, artillery can't actually fit through any of the breaches or the gates, so they're not getting involved anymore, unfortunately. Right, only one decent chance we've actually got here. We need to actually, yeah, lure these guys off the plaza, get them into what's left of the infantry, and then just hit them with my own cavalry in the back and hope that's enough. All right, in they come. They're going to take the base I would have expected. Next up, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Look, look at all the cavalry over... No, ignore the cavalry over... Uh-oh. That's... That's... Uh, maybe don't engage them just yet. Keep firing. Keep firing. I need to bring them in. Get them right into the front line. I need them engaged so we can... Did you just actually get yourself pulled into combat? Please tell me you actually didn't do that. Come on, lads. Come take the bait. In you come. That's right. Look at all this lovely infantry over here that you really, really, really want to come and fight. And... Uh, yeah, come on. Come on, come on. That's the stuff. That's the flippin' stuff. Go, 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 go. There. They're engaged. They're engaged. Go. Get on top of them. Get on top of them. There we go. And now, cavalry. 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 Um, with speed, please. With speed, I need you to get back here as soon as possible. These guys are already shaken. This is... Uh-oh. Right, 73, 72. Come on, guys. Hold... What are you doing? What... What are you doing? You're supposed to be going up the back. It's okay. The auxilia will hold. All right, just get into the back over there. You guys get over to here. Don't go onto the plaza. What are you doing? Actually, you know what? Their general's down to 40. The spearmen are doing a decent job by themselves. That's fine. And in come the light cav to close the trap. A few minutes late, but looks like it's doing the job anyway. Yep, they're down to 23 and shaken. That's fine. They're going to be dead momentarily. And down goes the king. The problem is, I've basically got nothing left but cavalry. They've still got a unit of spears. I'm not 100% sure how I'm planning to deal with that. I've just realized I do still have one little bit of range left. And it's the Comet of Ten says. If their peeler could pull these guys off the plaza... I then at that point need to basically just barrel into them from every direction at once with cavalry in the hope that might actually be enough unless... Oh, no. No, I'm not thinking what I'm thinking, am I? These archers have a melee attack of 6 and a defense of 10. They can actually fight. Okay, my archers have just been promoted to frontline units because they can actually flipping fight. So, okay then. In we go, I suppose. Come on, Comet 10 says. I need you to pull these guys off the plaza. Please. There we go. That's right. That's right. In you come. Off the plaza. That's good. That's good stuff. Okay. So they're now doing that. And now at this point, you guys, I'm guessing, are just charging in over here. You guys are just going in this way. And I guess we're just charging with everything. Because... That's pretty much all we can do, so just get on top of these guys. Everybody just surround them. All right, mass charge, mass charge, mass charge. That's right, I want them to break, I want them to break, I want them to break. Surround them. They're breaking! We've actually flipping done it! 
That means I just need to, uh, yeah, take out this unit over here, kill this one unit, and if he's dead, we should auto win at this point, right? Yes, yeah, screw it, that was surprising. That was not a clear victory. You are a lying voice crack narrator, man. Right, we've taken it back, but bloody hell, that was closer than I'd like, and... You know what, there's only like 500 people here. Screw it, we're gonna kill 20% of them, I don't like them anymore. Right, Campus Freezy, back in my hands. Spurious Flavius will hopefully have an easier time going into the Saxon capital. And actually, there are 18,000 people here. Oh yeah, there's some good money to be made from this. And this, by the way, is precisely why we need to do this, because they're starting to tech up. They've got the 100 men hall, level 4 cities, all of that good stuff. Meaning now, they can start fielding chosen axemen with an attack of 15, charge bonus of 5, and that's armor piercing. So, yeah, these guys can't be allowed on the field, or sooner or later, the Saxons will become a major threat. It's much better to just murder them now. Oh, and even better, my spies have opened the gates. Lovely. Not that we needed to, we brought trebuchets. So basically, in conclusion, the trebuchets that we trained in Rome and shipped to the north of Europe were completely flipping pointless. You know what? That's not fair. It's possible they'll put some troops up on the walls and I might be able to do some damage to them by knocking down the wall with the trebuchet before they can get off it. But yeah, here we go. Barbarian civilization with an actual wall built by barbarians. Very, very fancy indeed. And have we got lucky? Yes, we have actually. They've got something up on the wall and sadly it's a Saxon keel, which is the least interesting of their units. But screw it. We can still do some damage right there. So onagers... Concentrate all fire on this wall right here, and if we're lucky, we can knock down the wall before they can get off it. Here we go, the wall's up to 44% damage. They're not moving yet, I think it's at 60% damage that the wall starts to fall apart and these guys start falling to their deaths, so... You guys are gonna- yep! Well done, and there go more as well. So that unit's down from 160 to 93. So, good starting point right there. Good job, guys. Possibly that's the first time they've seen an onager. Now, where's everyone else? The general's towards the front door, and I think that is the axeman on the actual plaza there, isn't it? Yep, the chosen axeman with massive, massive axes. You do not want to mess with those guys, so... When it comes to it, the archers will be doing as much of that as possible. Alright, front door towers have been eliminated. Gate is open. Got a breach right here. May as well start bringing in the Comet 10 says up towards the breach. And then we can start using our own archers. But no other on the walls. They provide too much protection. Right, guys, start moving in. They've got literally no ranged units whatsoever. You should be fine. And a whole bunch of Peel have just arrived. That's another 30 dead right there. Love it. And now the archers are getting in their shots too. Fine. So we can basically just walk in whenever we're ready to. In which case, yeah, archers, hold off. Let's just send in one unit of common to ten says right now, please. So these guys should be able to very easily chop down these spearmen. And hopefully that'll pull these bastards down off the walls. Though the cavalry is close by. Yeah, bring up the spearmen just in case. And what's left of a mercenary Galaglass unit is coming in too. Alright, we should just be able to murder them. We'll take some damage, but these guys aren't berserkers. They're tough, but they're not that tough. Yeah, they'll go down no problem whatsoever. These guys are not wanting to come down off the walls yet, so might want to bring our archers inside just to convince them they should do. Oh, they've started coming down. They are now on their way down. Those are Saxon half troops. Heavy troops, well-guarded, swords and shields. But that's absolutely fine. You guys, uh, stop right there and just wait to charge into their rear in a moment. I just want to get everyone else lined up first. So you guys, you're actually in position right now? Yeah, you're good enough. Start throwing your peeler at these guys if they're in rage, please. And looks to me like, yeah, these guys are now a little bit all... Oh, and hang on. Where are you guys going? I don't know where you're going right now. Um... Okay, may as well, yeah, just toss some peeler into their back. Sure, see what happens next. Everyone just charge into them simultaneously from every angle. Maybe they'll break, I'm not sure. You guys just get in here too. There we go, they are shaken. They're surrounded, they are literally pressed into the walls. These guys are so distraught, they can't even bear to face the battle. They've got to break momentarily. And there we go, we've got them. Alright, next up, the plaza. So, archers, uh, line up your shots. 
Let's get the Heavy Cavalry straight into the Spearman. And once he's there, we'll just bring in the Comet Tensors to shut the door. That should work out just fine. Spurious Flavius, of course, a lot more experienced than Opius' delivery service. So, yeah, this should go pretty well, all things considered. And here we go, right over there. Lovely. So they've started fighting over here. Now we just start bringing some troops around. Just try and get the surround off with the Spearman. This shouldn't be a major issue. Yeah, this is cavalry taking on spears. We should be able to handle that. Oh, slight problem though. The Axemen are coming in. Right, guys. Do not let the Axemen attack you. There goes the King. Good. That works for me. Yeah, just start hitting the Axemen with everything we've got. All archers, concentrate all fire on the Axemen, please. Don't let the Heavy Cavalry get away. You guys pull back as far as you can. I want all Keeler, everything on these guys, all right? Don't engage them directly unless you absolutely have no choice. Primarily utilize Pila, all the rest of it. There we go. They're already wavering. Right, guys, they're falling back, so we should do the same. Do not engage directly. You will be flipping slaughtered like these guys are being right now by the giant axes. Just let the archers do their work and... Okay, apparently you guys just want to get involved. Well, I suppose you can then. I'm not going to stop you. In fact, if we can push them off the plaza, they're almost there already. Just kill that guy. I think they might... Yep, they're going to immediately break. Lovely. Finish him off. Good. That wasn't as bad as I was fearing it was going to be. Now Spearman can just finish off the general. Lovely. And in you go. Stabby, stabby, stab. Job done. And unless I'm misremembering something... That should be the end of the Saxons right there. So obviously exterminate them. 12,000 denarii. And resistance is futile. Faction destroyed. Saxons dealt with. Love it. And as for all their generals and all their troops and whatever, I don't know. Possibly they got on a boat and were taken out by pirates. That's the best bet I've got. And as for the shrine, Sacred Circle of Ull. So go on then. I may as well, just for a single turn while we're Christianizing the place, get my archers set up properly so they can actually have gold bows on them. And this place is no joke. That's actually a full-on army barracks right there. So I can actually train Auxilia Palatina here if I want to. Lovely. But you know what? An extra unit of archers wouldn't hurt. And he gets experience one because it's an actual archery range, not a practice range, if I recall correctly. No, that is just a basic practice range. Fine. But it is still going to be gold standard bow. So he'll still be pretty decent. Just sending my spy up north, there are actually a few pirate ships up here. It's possible just moments ago, one of these was the Saxon fleet and they were desperately trying to bring in reinforcements. I don't know, possibly. And one slight issue as well. Yeah, this place is 45% public order right now. So, Spurious Flavius, together with his honor guard, are just going to step outside. They're going to do their preaching from outside of the walls, just for safety. And hello, the Goths have attacked the Eastern Empire. What have they done? How have they done that? Because, yeah, if it's that way round, that would suggest the Goths were the ones who started the war. So... What did they do? Oh, I don't know. Well, whatever's going on, the Goths don't seem interested in attacking me right at this second. So, uh, time for me to get a couple of pickoffs here. These armies are, yes, yeah, separated off from the main remaining army. At this point, should be pretty easy pickings. So, Caius the Horde Slayer, time to live up to the name I've made up for you. Okay, here we go. I think they've got three squads of cavalry archers. That's all the range they've got. So pretty much works in my favor to just get as close as possible, as fast as possible. There we go. Just charge in, charge in, charge in. Get right up in their faces and then open fire on them. And here we go. I've taken a few light knocks because of that, but it means we can start returning fire faster. And my archers are seriously a lot more hardcore than theirs are. Oh yeah, just look at them flipping melt. They're not enjoying this one bit. Oh, even worse on this side. I think these guys might have slightly less experience because they are just dropping like flies. Once they're dead, that's it. We can just slowly push forward into their front line. Right, push forward just a little bit further. Push forward just a little bit further, lads. Let's get close enough to hit these guys. I'm not sure they were in range at that point. So, a little bit closer. Get the peeler in if you can. Why not? Yep, the front line looks like it's going to be baited forward. That's absolutely fine. Those guys are on guard mode. Peeler, 
coming in. Those guys are taking... Oh, they don't like this. They don't like this one little bit. Love it. Would you believe, I think the Gothic Horde is rapidly learning that it's really unpleasant to be attacked by a vastly numerically superior force that has a massive range advantage over you. Who flipping knew, eh? And they finally decided to just basically toss themselves straight into the front line there. So, where's the general? He's around here. Bring units around the outside. One of you just try and get on top of him. Everyone else just loop around the back. They're all breaking immediately. Sarmatian's gonna start chunking them nice and fast. In fact, you know what? Sarmatians, get around the back of the general. Make sure we just shut the door on him. I don't want him getting away, please. In we go. Job done. Don't let him escape. I want their leader dead. And down he goes. Spot on. Well done. Carnage the Horde Slayer is still a very effective fighting force. That army should just cease to exist. This army over here is actually a single unit. So what I'm going to do is just basically say, screw those guys. Uh, Carnage the Horde Slayer is going to head down south. See if he can catch up with, yeah, the Factionaire right there, though. Hang on. If that's the Factionaire, where's the Faction Leader? I don't actually know. I mean, we know someone just declared war on the Eastern Empire, so I guess it was him. But where is he? Also, remember our big damn hero, Lysianus Alimentus? I feel like he actually might enjoy a bit of a run outside at this exact moment in time. Especially as, yeah, I thought there were some mercenary golden bands. I feel like he fancies a crack at the goths, actually. And in comes the mercenary golden band, just getting straight in mixed up there. Lovely. More golden bands coming in for the flank. Alimentus ready to just basically slam into the rear of them. They are eager, but not keen on the numbers. Shaken, get in there. We're going to win this right flipping now. Love it. Right, Lucianus, while you're down this side of the Empire, slap down a watchtower just because I'm a little bit concerned about the Sarmatians. They seem to be on the move again. So let's just make sure we see them if they're heading in this direction. Now the big one. 11,000 denarii burning a hole in my pocket. And a lot of things we could be spending that on. Right, the capital most definitely needs a proconsul's palace. That's fine, but a whole bunch of places do as well. Oh, that needs a bloody imperial palace, dear, I flipping dear. London needs... Yeah, London could do with a dockyard. That's making a lot of money. That'd be a good thing for them to have. Uh, this place does too. Bloody hell, that money's basically already been spent. But I'll give Bordeaux an arena, just so I can actually put on a show, just to keep them happy. That's a good idea. Actually, what's going on here right now? That needs a pro console's palace as well, because of course it does. Right, the money's already all gone. Lovely. I hope no one else wanted anything. All right, I think that's all we can do for now. Caius's army is actually starting to get a little bit worn down. It's still in decent fighting shape. But yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have him just pass by Quinkum next turn, just to swap in and out some units, just to get these guys back up to fighting strength, because... Uh, we could actually have like probably 20% more men in that army just if we repaired up the damage, guys. Now, what's going on next? And aha, the Goths have decided to actually take me on directly. And this isn't actually the final Gothic family member. It can't be because that's the Factionaire. And the Factionaire can't be the Factionaire unless there's a faction leader somewhere. So I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him for bloody ages. But screw it, I guess we just have to kill this guy now. And another big flat open field. This time the rock's on his side, so sadly, I can't make use of that. That's a shame. You know, I can't help but be a little bit worried going into this one. My virus give me back my legion senses tingling and I don't like it. Alright, they've started moving into a flanking position. Understandable. This time they've got plenty more horse archers, but... I should still have enough archers to see these guys off. That shouldn't be a problem. And then uh, the front line shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to handle this. Why have I got a really bad feeling about this one? I don't know and I don't like it. Okay, fire and counter fire from the archers has already started occurring. Those guys are going to, yeah, go down very fast in the face of my archers. Because, yeah, don't forget, my archers flip in double silver chevrons and silver weapons and silver armor. Not bad at all. Anything that comes too close to the front line gets peeled in the face. This is looking decent enough so far. So the front group are going to be absolutely annihilated. There's no one over on that flank. For some reason, yeah, this group's coming in from the front. These guys are... Actually, these guys have kind of come in from the front too. Right, you guys... Uh, Open fire. Let's just see what we can do here. 
This all seems to be working to me so far. In fact, you know what? I'm going to actually bring out the Sarmatians. They've got plenty of defense. They can stand up to a little bit of light archer fire. But I'm just going to kind of loop around the outside of them. See if I can actually drive them towards my line. That would be... Oh, hello. They're, they're doing it by themselves. They're... They're charging straight into flipping peeler range. That was odd. Yeah, actually, they're starting to flank. They're moving over to that side. They're moving over to this side. No, 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 no. No, you flipping doe. You're not getting around the back of me. You are not getting around the back of me. You can naff off, actually. Go away. Though, actually, looks like I can just about get on top of. Yes, I can. You guys can naff off immediately. Love it. Right, now just pull back. These Sarmatians are caught between two sets of archers. Don't want to be there. These guys are too valuable to just be thrown away. They are badasses. I don't want to lose any of them unnecessarily. Fall back into archer range. My archers this side, meanwhile, should be able to handle this without too much difficulty. That should be fine. They can stand up to a little bit of light fire. I really do not like these guys being all the way back here. This is, yeah, more of an aggressive flanking motion than you normally get off the AI. I don't like it one bit. I'm just going to chase them off. So, guys, are you, are you sure this is the direction you want to go in? I mean, if it is, I'm not going to stop you because I'm actually almost... Oh, come on, you're almost on top of them. You're almost on top of them. They're almost... Oh, they've run themselves into the corner. They're in the corner. The stupid bastards, they've got nowhere else to go. And... They are going to flipping melt. Just look at those Sarmatians go. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. And off the field with ya. Okay, Horse Cav over on this flank are looking very, very battered. All things considered. These guys are looking slightly healthier, but not too much. But over on the front, in they come. The actual infantry has decided to engage. So that is, yeah, 127. Breaking immediately, not doing a thing. Lovely. So that front line is fine. Good. My premonition has not come to pass. This does seem to be going pretty well so far. Right. Deploy my spearmen over to here. You guys can just be deployed over here. This seems to be going, yeah, pretty well. Actually, I don't see what else they're planning to do at this point. You guys just get on to these guys. You guys get on to these guys. And yeah. Everything looking good, actually. Marvellous. They're coming in for a second go. I'm just going to hit him directly with the cav. Breaks them straight away. Fine. They've not got much left at this point. Not much left at all. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Don't overextend. And yeah, these units are starting to fall apart as well. Redraw up the defensive line. We have not taken out the king yet, though. Actually, hang on. Yes, we have. One of my spearmen just sort of took the initiative for themselves. Well done. Good job there. Right, time for the cohorts to basically just go and hunt down anything that hasn't broken yet. But it feels like they're retreating at this point. Ooh, we took a few knocks there. 600 men down. But that force is pretty much dealt with. 400 men and the leader survived. So it's not going to break down. It's going to be somewhere on the map. And I repeat the big question. Where the hell is the gothic faction leader? Never mind. We found him. He's heading in this direction with a massive army of mercenaries. Gotcha. I also can't help but be a little bit worried that the Lombardi appear to be invading the Franks right now. They won't win because the Franks have got a massive army. In fact, that could work if, yeah, the Franks start expanding and take the Lombardi capital. But oh no. If the Franks take the Lombardi capital, that just hands them a big old pile of tech infrastructure. They can actually start rebuilding with that. Right, Lombardi, please don't do this. I like the Franks when they're just chilling out doing nothing. Now, as for Vika's Saxones, these guys are up to, yes, 57% Christian. So now it's time to tear down their religion and give them Christianity instead. Lovely. Currently, bloody hell. Nought. Nought percent public order with low tax. Great. And if I leave any troops here, they're just going to get battered. Oh, that's no good at all. What am I going to do with these guys? We don't have time for this. Bloody Britain needs some attention. Then again, I say this. The Celts aren't actually moving right now. They seem to just be chilling out in York for the minute. So we could just go and deal with the flipping Burgundy capital right now while it's nice and vulnerable. That wouldn't be a bad idea. It would basically remove them from the game. They'd be left in the same position as the Franks were back in the day. Not really able to trade anything good. Okay, I'm going to pull out the army because otherwise they're just going to get a little bit on the battered side. This does mean the city might be about to revolt straight over to the Western Roman rebels. So they'll be back on the field. Then we'll need to defeat them again. 
but I really don't want to actually tear down all of this infrastructure. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, having a hundred men haul... I mean, I don't need it. Vika's Frankie is right there. Yeah, screw it. We're just going to lose this place a second time, but I'll take 1,600 denarii to tear that down. Another 400 right there. Screw your stupid stables. Lovely. This place is just going to be completely demilitarized. Nice. And just splashing about that money a bit. Look at this, a Western Roman Empire that's got flipping building going on in all of its settlements. Well, that is a rare sight indeed. At this point, the question is, the army of Caius the Horde Slayer... Is he in a strong enough position to take on the faction leader? Because the faction heir is down to basically nothing, to be honest. But this guy here, he's got himself... He's got himself a pile of mercenaries, but overwhelmingly, they appear to be badly battered. They've already lost against something in the past. Screw it. Give him a poke. Let's see what we've got. He's backing off, and that means now I can see his full breakdown. And overwhelmingly, there's... There's nothing there. Yeah, there's like two decent units of mercenary cavalry archers. Uh, there's one good unit of mercenary veterinary. Keep half an eye on them. They could actually hurt a little bit with double silver chevrons. Everything else, too badly battered. Screw it. We're going in. Let's take out the flipping king too. Here we go. A mercenary army. There's basically none of his own men left. He's just depending on, yep, the men he's paying. And uh, they are already battered. Mercenaries don't always stand and fight for too long. We should be able to slaughter these guys. Here we go. The horse archers are just coming up for a bit of a poke, but we can just basically take them out. No problem whatsoever. We got the firepower for this. These guys will melt in no time. What else is coming up? I think that's mercenaries, isn't it? Yeah, mercenary Sarmatians. These guys are heavily flipping armoured, but... There's not many of them. We should be able to take them out no problem at all. So, fire and counter fire, but we're very, very easily winning this initial exchange. Lovely. All right, guys, push up. Let's get right up in their faces, please. Right up in their faces. Next up, what's actually coming in for a poke? It's mercenary crossbowmen. They've got short range. That won't be a problem. And the biggest threat of all, the mercenary veterinarii. After, of course, the heavy cavalry of the general, but... They're walking straight into the pillar. So, oh, that's a lot of pillar. But even then, that only did like 30 guys worth of damage. Those guys are tough. They are very, very tough indeed. But an expression does come to mind. Something about arrows blocking out the sun. But, you know, with pillar. Now they're backing off. My archers can get a shot into their back. They will go down nice and fast. Love it. Oh, I think this is it. The final charge. They're moving up all of the infantry at this point. Everything that's left is being sent forward. We've got a little bit of peeler there. Peasants are melting. Spearmen are not going to be able to stand up to much at all, going up against proper heavy cavalry. Right, any archers that have got anything left? Here we go. The actual general himself is charging in. You guys, just get on top of the general. You guys, get on top of the general. You guys, get on top of those guys, because they're here for some reason. And yeah, get the actual cavalry in a position to start flanking, please. Love it. These guys are, yeah, they are going to fall apart momentarily. The general has got to make his move sooner or later. Archers, shoot the general if he doesn't want to. Oh, he's being a coward. He's being a bit of a coward. Shoot him in the back. Get him in the back. I want him in the front line, please. Just get him in there. All right, get my spearmen in there. They can do a decent job at the bare minimum. My actual leader is right here as well. The Horde Slayer himself. You, get around the side of them. You, take out these raiders. There's a couple of spearmen there. I don't really like them being there, to be perfectly honest. So I'd like to get them out of the way if you'd be so kind. Are you guys actually breaking? Yeah, don't get too close to them. You, chase off these guys if you'd be so kind right there. And let's just get the cavalry ready to go for the surround. This guy... I don't want him getting away. We're going in. It's king versus king again. This is how the vandals were killed. And it's going to be how the goths go down as well. Though, not quite. Because this guy's got like a son somewhere. So, just, you know, get around him. And here we go. He's broken. Do not let him escape. Sarmatians, chop him the flip down. In come the, in come the archers. The archers are running forward to stab the gothic king in the face. Well done, guys. Medals for you. And that's it. Job is done. He's dead. We don't need to do anything else. We have won the victory. 
Now, I know I said I was going to go and let these guys recharge, but... Screw it. We're almost done with the flipping goths. If we can just kill this guy, the job is done. Okay, what's up next for the goths, the huns, and also, yeah, the vandals and potentially a Lombardi invasion? So, yeah, that's just a spy. He's just having a bit of a stroll through the mountains. That's not actually a mission I gave him. He just enjoys walking holidays. And the goths are... Ooh, are they about to start begging some people for some peace? I'm guessing they might be. Yeah, no action from anyone by the looksy of things. Okay, what's going on here? And the answer is... Where have the goths gone? Ooh, Salona's just been sacked again. So wait, Salona belonged to me, then the Western Roman rebels, then it was sacked by the Vandals, so it belonged to nobody, then the Eastern Romans moved in, now it's been sacked again by the Huns. So yeah, generally not a fun time if you live in Salona these last few years. And oh dear, it would appear the Goths are actually on the run. They're just trying to get the hell out of here. And as for the Celts, still no movement. I'm increasingly suspicious that I might just, just have time to go and deal with the Burgundy. I'm going to give it a go. Spurius Flavius is actually heading east. There he can basically remove the threat of the Burgundians forever. Because they'll basically just be like the Franks. Training levies, spearmen and peasants. Stuff we can easily keep track of. Right now, we have got an economically and militarily powerful empire right on a completely undefended border. They could just basically walk straight over to Vika Saxonis and take it the moment we ship off to Britain. Which is in fact, I think, exactly what they're trying to do with this bastard. Ooh, one slight issue with the let's take out the Berber plan though. Apparently they've got a massive army. Right, that's, that's not something I was expecting to see. Do we have much in the way of... They're expensive, but I can afford it. Yeah, okay. Um, buy basically all of the mercenaries, please. Right, break away from them. I don't really want to take them on directly. I'd rather, if at all possible, just get straight over to the city and smash it before they actually make it over to me. Though then again, could we actually spare any troops from... No, of course not. Because Spain was completely demilitarized decades ago. Yeah, that decision's coming back to bite me in the arse now. Gotcha. And as for Caius the Horde Slayer, he needs a moment to recharge. That is absolutely essential. Right, okay. What do we have we can actually send over to help him out? We've got ourselves... Uh, yeah, lots of stuff here, but these units are really battered. Oh dear. Take out the stuff that's actually, yeah, too damaged to be merged together. That's literally all that's left. The rest of this desperately needs a chance to recover. So, okay. Do a bit of a swampsy roundy here. We have some troops we can send you. They're nowhere near as good, but... They're gonna have to do for the time being, because these guys need a moment to chill out. Not, of course, that I can afford the retraining, so we're gonna have to cancel something around the Empire to make that happen. Ooh, that hurts to do, but I've cancelled a dockyard upgrade, so... Yeah, we need this army fighting fit as soon as flipping possible, please. Get on it. Oh, even with that done, we can't afford to get the cavalry back up and running. Dear, oh dear. Okay, big questions. Where are the Goths and the Huns going next? Because we need to finish off the Goths before they find a nice soft city to settle down in. And as I would have suspected, yeah, Vika Saxones has immediately flipped. But that's fine, because by the time I take it back, it'll be nice and Christian, much easier to handle. In fact, we could just do that now for safety. It's going to be much more Christian these days. That would be a nice injection of cash. Yeah, go on then. The first time we sacked the place didn't take. Let's try it again. Oh, but today we get my favourite thing of all, which is... If you actually knock down a bit of wall, and then knock down another bit of wall, leaving unit trapped in a position from which you can physically never get down, they just auto-die. So these guys over here are about to have a very bad day. And there go the rest of them, and... Hang on, wait, wait the... There we go! Look at them go! <laughs> I'd forgot that was the animation too. Basically, they realise they're trapped and just all try and jump down and it doesn't go very well. Flipping marvellous right there. Okay, this time, guys, this time it better flipping stick, right? So, there we go. Nice, happy yellow face. Lovely. And I've got a big pile of money for that too. Apparently there was more to loot that we just forgot to carry off last time. Well, on the plus side, the troops are repaired to Quinkum, and uh, there doesn't seem to have been much in the way of XP dilution. So, yeah, that is marvellously good news, at least. As for the Berbers, however, they actually seem, yeah, pretty determined to, uh, to fight me. 
understandably, because I kind of invaded their territory and this is actually their last remaining city. But, on the plus side, they have actually left me in an interesting position here. They've actually let me get to the bridge. If I fight them there, I've actually got a decent chance. Oh, and I just noticed, we might just need to let the Goths go and do their own thing for a minute because the Huns appear to be heading in this direction. Oh, and they're gonna do it! They've taken the flipping bait! This is... well, actually, I thought it was a superior army, but as it turns out, it's mostly peasants. Right, maybe I shouldn't have been quite as concerned as I was about that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I would say that is enough for now. Next time, we need to mop up the last Berber army, finish off their capital, and then it's time to discuss what the army of Carthage is doing next, because I've got a plan for these guys. Plus, of course, we need to figure out what we're going to be doing with the Huns. Can't help but notice the Sarmatians are sniffing around our territory. They're a little bit worryingly close by as well. And Spurious Flavius, of course, needs to decide where he is going next. The Celts are... The Celts are backing off for the time being. Celts or Burgundy? We'll figure that out next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Rome Total War with Barbarian Invasion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no, enjoying no. that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. <laughs> oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear.